Today on Newsbreak, Emily and Maribeth will have a preview on homecoming activities next week. We'll also let you know what the theme for tonight's volleyball game is. All this and more on this Thursday, September 22nd, 2016. Good afternoon, I'm Sully Chess. I'm Parker Bright. And I'm Sierra Gross. Now let's take a look at your top stories for today. A reminder to all key club members that the club dues of $13 need to be dropped off by tomorrow, Friday, September 23rd, to Mr. Holman. The cheerleaders will be selling carnations today, Friday and Monday at lunch, after school, in the Commons. Cost will be $5, again, with all proceeds going to support the football cheerleaders. Cheerleaders will deliver them to your first period class. If you don't have a first period class, they will go to the office for you to pick up. The class list for this fall's production of The Wiz was posted yesterday afternoon. Rehearsals will begin soon, and the show is scheduled for November 11th and 12th. Order forms for Pink Out Night t-shirts are in the office and are due by the end of the day. The Key Club invites all fans and community members to bring non-perishable donations for the food drive to tonight's home volleyball game against Western Christian. Boxes will be available at the entrances, and all donations will benefit Upper Des Moines Opportunity. If you would like to request a specific song to play at the homecoming dance, there will be a song suggestion list in the office until next Wednesday, September 28th. And finally, happy birthday to Jason Allen, Lexi Boone, Aiden Early, and Preston Gigset. Now let's take a look at the weather for this week. Alright, so let's take a look at your weather for the next few days. Today we'll be having a high of 74 degrees and a slight chance, 40% chance of thunderstorms this afternoon, low of 63 tonight. Tomorrow, we're having a 30% chance of thunderstorms in the morning, high of 79 in the afternoon, so it'll be nice to have a football game tomorrow night. And then Saturday, high of 79 with a 70% chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. So let's look at your weather for the next three days. Back to you guys. Now let's send it over to Emily and Maribeth who have details for homecoming next week. Thanks guys, let's check out the homecoming details for next week. Okay, so on Monday there will be Powder Club football yeah. at 9 p.m. Yeah. And then there's uh, there's no school that day, but I'm pretty sure there'll be hallway decorating. Yeah, from 10 to 2. From 10 to 2, and, and then... That's it, no other time than that. Yep, yeah. and then there will also be a cross-country meet in Algona that night. Oh, awesome. Yep, yeah. and then going into Tuesday, so... It's a Netflix day that day. So you dress as your Netflix character or casual wear. Yep, so just pajamas. And then there's a volleyball game at Emmitsburg. And uh, like past years, there's going to be a color competition. So seniors will be wearing black, juniors will be wearing red, uh, sophomores will be wearing white, and freshmen will be wearing gray. And the more points, uh, the more people there, the more points you get for homecoming. And then on Wednesday is Olympic Day. so. Dress as your favorite Olympic person. Yep, and you can go along with USA Day as well for that. Oh, awesome. So, yeah. And then coronation will begin at 8 p.m. that night. And uh, there will be cheerleaders performing and dance team and all the introduction of sports as well. Sweet. And then on Thursday is Zoo Day or Pokemon Go Day or Harami Day. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can pick what you want to do that day. Yep. And then Friday is the big day, and so that'll be Spirit Day as always. And there'll be Spirit Games and the parade. And of course, the football game. Yep, so go and support the football boys. Yep, and then after the football game, there will be a homecoming dance hosted by a dance team, and it's $5 to get into that. That's all you need to know for homecoming. Back to you guys. Back in Italy, um, I heard Caitlin Cooper took a picture and then put it into a contest, and she won $500. Yeah, First place, that's great. pretty awesome. That's crazy. Congrats to her. So, Kyle, what's the weather looking like? I heard the storm missed us a little bit. Yeah, so like, we were supposed to get a big storm last night with heavy rain. And we had a flash flood watch that was in effect until 7 p.m. tonight, but that got um, that got or was allowed to expire. And uh, so, but there's also a slight chance of thunderstorms tonight, still. But other than that, it's not much anymore. So home volleyball game varsity starts at seven tonight. Yep, I think it's white yeah, out. I'm excited for that. Yeah, and then also we have a lot of things coming up with homecoming and such. So yes. it's going to be an exciting couple Bit of fun days week. in the week. Yep. Yeah. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching Newsbreak and have a great day, guys.